Malawi, beautiful but poor, where people are being driven to strip forested slopes and reserves to meet the urban dwellers' demand for charcoal. Charcoal and wood is not only being burnt in the home, but also by industry. To combat this crisis, Probec, the programme for biomass energy conservation, has joined forces with Peter Scott from the NGO Aprovecho to design a rocket stove to radically reduce the amount of wood consumed. We have seen forest reserves in three years completely gone, not a single tree standing there. Using the new rocket stove, the amount of wood needed for cooking can be substantially reduced. Meaning the fire itself gets hotter than a normal open fire. And with these higher temperatures, the smoke is burnt, which is a great health impact. Above this combustion chamber, there's this skirt, which is to shield the pot from wind. And the more important reason is to increase heat transfer into the pot. The fire temperatures can be between 800 and 900 degrees C. I'm making household stops and uh, we're making institutional ones from the same rocket system. Tea picking is a major source of employment and providing meals for the workers used to demand large quantities of fuel wood. Now, thanks to the rocket stove, the amount being used for cooking at the Lauderdale Tea Factory has been cut dramatically. We use 90 to 95 percent less firewood cooking in here than we do cooking outside. We'll have a full kitchen of these things everywhere, I would imagine, by the end of three years' time. It's very, very good indeed. We're delighted with it. When I was beginning this, you know, I had uh, about two, three people and uh, one machine. Then I increased the machines because of the work of these rockets, and uh, now I, I'm employing about uh, 27 people. We are feeding 75,000 children every day and at the primary schools, every morning, using the rocket stoves. 